It's a good thing I don't have way too much money because if I did, I would buy the space in the grocery store right next to the magazine Better Homes and Gardens and I would commission a whole team of people to create a magazine called Better Homes and Gibbons and uh, put it right next to it portraying exemplary homes and wonderful monkeys. All right, great. Today's uh, song <laughs> is Exploder by Audio Slave for Ethan McWhorter, if for no other reason is that Ethan McWhorter is a really, really cool name. All right, this one, one of the things I like about Stone Gossard is the same thing as one of the things I like about, about what's his face? Oh my God. Tom Morello, about Tom Morello. Okay, uh, yeah, he does a lot with a little here. And here we go for the verse. All we're gonna do is grab your B string seventh fret. <laughs> done with the song. Okay, the chorus, a little trickier, but not much trickier. Well, it's tricky, but it's not complicated. What we're gonna do is grab your D string, fourth fret, then the octave lower than that, Tom Morello loves octaves, is the E string, second fret, because that's where octaves exist with each other. This is the same note as this, whatever it is. In this case, it's F sharp. Anywhere you do that shape, it's the same note as the other one, whatever note that is. This is, for example, B. Seventh fret of the E string and ninth fret of the D string is B, but that's not in this song. So we're doing F sharp. We're gonna go D string, fourth fret, E string, second fret, open E, E2, open E. Twice, followed by a, so you mute everything with your left hand, just put your fingers on the strings, don't push, just touch, and then strum four times. Down, up, down, up. And now we have, nice and slow. Then the second time is, instead of chicka chicka, it's bend the E string second fret. And that's it for the verse and the chorus. solo because this one's really doable and really fun so I'll be right back with that. Don't move. All right here's the thing about the solo. You're gonna start on D16. This is up in muddy land where it's hard to count but 12 is your double dot so count from there. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and then we're gonna do B19. Now Tom Morello strums like 32nd notes, 16th note, really fast. He strums, four, he plucks four times here. But it's this fast, right? I'm not gonna strum pluck four times for the sake of showing you this. You can work on that on your own time. I'm just gonna pluck once. Uh, yeah, D16, B19, we're gonna do it eight times. This is, by the way, another set of octaves. It's another set of F sharp octaves. So there it is, look. 14th fret of the E string is F sharp, and then in our regular, we know it, octave zone, two frets higher, two strings down, that's F sharp. And then once you involve the B string, since the B string is a half step lower compared to the G string than all the other strings are compared to the strings above them, you have to go a fret higher to get your octave. So D16 and B19 is another set of F sharp octaves eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, by the way, this is a totally enjoyable way to do this solo. You don't have to pluck frenetically at crazy speeds to enjoy doing this. And then we're gonna move our shape down two frets to 14, 17, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And notice how I'm kind of bouncing my fingers so that we don't get the note that we're not playing ringing out when we don't want it to. So I just push down, take it off, 
push down, take it off, push down. That was exaggerated. The good news is we're half done with the solo. The bad news is the second half is a little tricky. Totally messed up there. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, the second half starts on our same F sharp octave, so D16, B19. Now, uh, the first, the third, the fifth, and the seventh ones, which is to say every other one is gonna be our regular, but the even numbered ones are gonna be different. So here we go, regular one, and now the D string isn't changing, but we're going E17. Regular one, E19. Regular one, E21. Regular one, E22. I don't have a 22nd fret. If you don't have a 22nd fret, play your 21st fret again. But yeah, I can kind of get that note, but not like, not like fast to really do it. But here, I'll do that section again. Whoops, here we go. And then we're back to our don't have a 20 second fret. And then we're back to our lower one, so D14 and B17. Now D14 and E17. Same one again. D14, E16. And then we go, so that was once, twice, three times, four times, and then Tom Morello has that crazy octave pedal, of course, right? Which messes with which octave you're perceiving and you can't even quite tell which one it is because it's like blending really high ones that you can't even do and regular ones. But one octave way to do this uh, end is B15, 14, G14, G13, and then to G11, which is the same as our verse, right? The other, if you want to try to hit those really high octaves that he achieves with his fancy schmancy wah pedal that is an octave shifter also, you're going to do 22 on the E string, 21, 22B, I get it in this context a little bit, 21B, and 19B. So that whole second half is nice and slow, and I'm going to do 21 twice. And then at the very end of the song, they go... which is the solo move I call two becomes one. And what you're gonna do is put your pointer finger on the 14th fret of the baby E string and your ring finger on the, what did I say, 14th, yeah? 14th fret of the baby E string and your ring finger on the 17th fret of the B string. Also put your middle finger on the 16th fret of the B string, which is irrelevant. It's not there for fretting purposes, it's there for bending strength purposes. And you're gonna strum both those strings and you're gonna bend the B string but not the E string. And this B string note becomes the E string note. And you get that super cool noise as it happens. And you stop it so it's staccato rather than ringy outy. Ringy outy is the Italian word that's opposite staccato. Two, three, four, five, six. And that's the end of the song. And that is how you play Exploder, at least for enjoyment purposes in the solo, given I don't have a 20 second fret and don't really feel like strumming 16th notes at that crazy tempo. All right, thanks for the great request, Mr. McWhorter, and uh, thank you all for being here. And I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.